Hi guys, Julia here. Today we have a shop critique for one Etsy shop and we look at the shop in general and uh, make some SEO analysis for one of the listings. As well, we give some recommendations about SEO and increasing of traffic. So if you want uh, uh, to have a free shop critique, Join our Facebook group and leave a request for a free shop critique. The link in the description of the video. Uh, let's begin. And today we have a shop critique of one uh, wonderful shop. And thank you, Amina, an owner of a shop, for participation in our review. And let's at once uh, begin with a quick review of a shop. And the first uh, thing that I would like to say is, of course, uh, the first impression. And here I would like to compliment uh, an owner of a shop for a really good job. Uh, you have already worked. Uh, nice and uh, you worked with branding your banner uh, looks wonderful and your shop icon uh, is done uh, with the same style uh, there is an owner photo and let's have a look uh, of the title is edit and here uh, we can see that uh, what stuff is in a shop and namely elegant uh, handmade jewelry then let's have a look uh, uh, of course we have an announcement and an owner worked hard here uh, potential customers can uh, look additional information and answers to their questions uh, which they are interested in also, we can see links to some social media and as well information about delivery and other moments. Then uh, uh, there are sections of the shop and uh, they are structured really good. So a visitor, a customer uh, can find any sh uh, item, any good uh, he's interested in, in uh, this section easily. Uh, let's have a look further and uh, uh, updates are added. Uh, here, uh, you can uh, demonstrate your new goods and Amina uh, formed uh, about me section perfectly perfectly good uh, this section is created specially for um, for the reason to tell about uh, your story that can inspire your customers as well you can add photos and backstage for example, Amina shows tools which uh, she used for creation of her jewelry. And it means that a customer can see all details easily, uh, all details uh, he is interested in, and uh, he can see uh, that Amina creates uh, her jewelry by herself. Then let's have a look at photos. Photos are really nice and uh, they look rather good. Pay attention here uh, that Amina added featured items. Uh, that is those photos which she wants to present for her customers uh, for the first time. And of course, that's really, really good. Uh, of course, uh, sky's the limit and in future you can improve your photos and uh, probably add more lights or choose phone or stylize them somehow but uh, the first impression is really good especially i like these photos uh, which are done in one style and on the same phone uh, that is uh, on a banner and the shop icon it looks like part of branding and it uh, 
it's really good when all photos look in one style and that is uh, successful for a shop mm, as well uh, some photos are demonstrated on uh, on a person and uh, that is really good because customer uh, can uh, see at once how these uh, items look uh, on a person and uh, uh, their sizes and style and etc of course it's only my opinion but i uh, i recommend you um, all first photos uh, in your listings uh, to do in uh, one style on this mobile phone and uh, photos on a person uh, uh, can be added as the second one or the third one and that's about photos then i have already watched and visited your pinterest and uh, all photos in your pinterest uh, look in a single style on mobile phone and it brings charm to your shop and it's really good for branding then i have already so, uh, told that social media are very important for increasing of traffic to your shop uh, more people can see your uh, goods assess them and maybe uh, soon you can get your first sales uh, thus, we have already done a quick review of a shop and further let's make a SEO analysis of one listing. I always start SEO analysis uh, with a quick uh, review of a shop as it helps me to identify weak and strong sides of a shop and understand why an owner uh, of a shop doesn't uh, have uh, sales or uh, there are not enough sales uh, as well uh, it helps me to find uh, those listings which uh, need seo optimization and for these uh, i use a website sellerway if you guys are unfamiliar uh, with uh, this site this website is created specially for etsy sellers and uh, with its help uh, uh, and with the help of its tools you can mm, uh, make seo analysis of your shop by yourself and as well you can choose keywords for improvement of your seo and uh, many others so let's start uh, I have already logged in and let's move to tools. On the left you can see a set of tools and uh, uh, you can uh, have a look have a look at them in your free time and uh, let's use uh, an instrument shop analysis plus. Open it and here enter name of uh, the magazine. So let's enter name of Amina's magazine so here we enter the name of the shop and uh, let's enter uh, the name of Amina Amina's shop and uh, hit analyze button and here we can uh, see a quick statistic uh, we can see that the shop is only five months old and uh, the amount of listing uh, listings is 28 and unfortunately for now an owner seller doesn't have sales uh, as well uh, daily sales uh, sales are equal to zero as well as monthly sales and uh, here we can see an average price and uh, the number of likes amina has 23 likes and uh, uh, there there is no feedback as well and we can see a country 
and let's have a look at last listings and identify the reason of the absence of sales. And the first uh, thing that we need to, to check is uh, daily traffic. Uh, it means an average uh, amount of views per day. And on this listing, we can see that an average amount of uh, views per day is equal to zero. Uh, this listing uh, has uh, one. And here we have zero. There is also zero, zero, etc. And uh, we can see uh, at once that uh, each listing has very, very low traffic. But I always repeat that if you want to have sales, you need to have high traffic. And of course, for each niche, uh, this uh, figure can be different. But if you want to have sales, you need to have at least 20 views per day for your first sales. So how can we uh, increase traffic? Of course, the first thing that we need to do is to optimize your listing for Etsy search. Uh, it means that you need to do SEO optimization. And of course, uh, you need to use social media promotion. Thus, let's uh, choose one listing and uh, let's have a look. Uh, whether it is optimized for Etsy search. I chose for analysis this listing with uh, low traffic. It has zero views per day and uh, of course we need to increase this figure. And uh, the first that uh, I do is uh, check-in of text. I use such an instrument as Key Compare Plus. Open it uh, on a new page and here we can put several keywords. Uh, we, can, we can see how they are appropriate for Etsy search and let's uh, take several tags, put them in and of course uh, you can do such an analysis by yourself for all tags, but we uh, take at least uh, five of uh, them and uh, have a look how uh, they work for your traffic. So we take uh, five keywords, uh, hit compare button, and uh, while the, result, the results are download, downloading, let's have a look what we have here. So, um, according to each keyword, we have uh, the amount of listings on Etsy. It means that uh, uh, we can see how many listings on Etsy uh, have the same keywords. And uh, then, um, then, uh, in comparison uh, with uh, this uh, number of listings, we can identify a competition rate. And competition rate is a very, very important indicator. Uh, be sure to pay attention to it. So let's have a look uh, here. Uh, we, can, uh, we can see a color guide where we can see um, that where we can see that uh, con competition uh, competition rate is divided into high average and low levels and of course it's bad to use in your listings keywords with uh, low competition rate uh, because it uh, brings you more chances to be identified in the results of uh, of a search and now uh, look attentively uh, uh, request fine jewelry has a very very big and high competition and you can see these uh, three red signs it means uh, very very high competition and uh, the 
it means that uh, there are more than 50,000 of listings on Etsy and uh, to be precise uh, we can copy this keyword and uh, put it in uh, the search and we can see the exact amount and they and to be precise that is uh, 214,172 results uh, it means that all these listings uh, have uh, this keyword. Uh, just imagine uh, how many goods uh, your listing compete with. It's very, very wide uh, request and I do not recommend to use it because of high competition and uh, you will have very, very small probability that uh, customers will find just your good and uh, buy your good. Uh, also pay attention to such an indicator as a view rate. Uh, according to color guy, guide, uh, view rate can be uh, low and it's not really good. Uh, it can be also average and that is better of course and it can be high and that is the best uh, indicator uh, when you have uh, uh, this view rate. It means that a small amount of people are interested in uh, these goods and uh, they uh, put, uh, put in these keywords not so often while searching on Etsy and uh, when you have a high view rate it's uh, of course very good and here uh, there is the main rule uh, while choosing tags you need to choose just the right combination and of course the best combination here uh, will be a low compet competition rate and uh, many views of course that is the best variant uh, that means that when you compete with a small amount of people and uh, at the same time um, there is a great interest uh, of uh, customers, then uh, you will have uh, big chances to sell your goods and you get more traffic, more interested customers and uh, engage uh, them and uh, can uh, sell your goods. Of course, uh, it's not always so easy to find such keywords, but uh, also you can use another combinations and um, at least uh, uh, you should have uh, an average competition rate and the uh, amount of use should be also average or high. And I recommend uh, to overview all your tags and add uh, those ones uh, where you will have a low competition rate and at least average uh, or at least average. And at the same time, uh, you will have uh, many views or at least uh, average amount of views for uh, those combinations you can use a free uh, in instrument uh, that is named keywords. Keywords is a free tool with the help of which you can uh, find combinations uh, which can attract more traffic to your shop. Thus you can uh, uh, enter any keyword and uh, the more specific it is, uh, the better. For example, let's uh, uh, enter geometric Baho earrings and uh, hit search. Uh, uh, the results are downloaded in one by one and here uh, we can see as well a color guide and uh, what combinations uh, it's better to look for. Mm, so uh, you can see uh, according to this text uh, there is a high competition and a small amount of use. Uh, 
that is not really good and further here uh, we have the same picture and uh, that is an example of a keyword uh, that uh, helps to increase views when uh, we have a small very small competition rate uh, that means that um, very small amount of listings of Etsy mm. and at the same time uh, there are many views and view rate is really high uh, such combinations if you find them and uh, the more you fi find them the better and uh, you should uh, put them into your tags and it will be easier for your customers to Mm, uh, to find uh, your your items your goods uh, as well that is also not really bad combinations and we can see that comp uh, competition here is rather um, big uh, it's uh, 20,000 of listing uh, uh, that compete uh, and the uh, average amount of uh, competition uh, but nevertheless the view rate is really high and such combinations like these and these you can also use of course uh, but uh, you should also uh, pay attention to uh, the fact whether these tags uh, match you and uh, whether these tags uh, that you have found uh, are appropriate to your goods. So I recommend you uh, to use only um, keywords um, that are confirmed to your uh, goods precisely to have just uh, target traffic. Uh, as you do not need uh, odd uh, words uh, even with the high traffic as they uh, will bring you of course uh, many views but nevertheless uh, it leads to no sales and uh, that's that's why just uh, look for words that uh, match your uh, personally your uh, goods and mm, of course, uh, even uh, even if you from uh, the first time you cannot uh, find these uh, words, you can uh, also mm, use uh, to uh, to enter a new uh, keyword uh, that is also uh, relevant uh, to your uh, goods and uh, look for uh, and look for one more time. Uh, of course, it can uh, take some time, but uh, but as a result, if you optimize your listings perfectly good, you can get uh, more traffic and uh, you can use this tool. Uh, personally, I use it uh, every time when I am choosing text for my listings and that is uh, Mm, where that helps me uh, to track to attract more traffic uh, to my listings. Uh, thus, uh, you can mm, you can search uh, them by yourself. And uh, uh, here uh, here is uh, also good combinations. Just look uh, uh, whether they uh, match you and uh, choose combinations and keywords uh, that are relevant uh, personally to your goods. So I have already done uh, some research and found some keywords that uh, could be um, uh, could be relevant to your uh, goods. Of course, you know your uh, items better and you can uh, choose tags uh, also, but just for comparison, let's have a look uh, which keywords I found and what comp competition and uh, view rate uh, they have. For example, I found these keywords and let's have a look at the competition rate and at once we can see that mm, that is uh, the most uh, perfect combination and here uh, we have very low uh, competition rate and many views 
that is high view rate and uh, such combinations can help you to attract more traffic to your listings and of course you can use um, wider requests uh, this one is good uh, here um, we have more than 7000 uh, listings uh, also average competition rate and uh, also average uh, view rate here we have uh, 8000 and uh, average competition and also many views that is also not a bad combination uh, in such a way you can optimize your listing uh, at more um, precise uh, requests uh, you can see that everything is connected with earrings and that is not just gift and not just jewelry as gift for example is a very wide request and uh, such requests uh, do not bring you uh, desirable uh, traffic and use more precise narrow combinations uh, where a uh, competition rate is uh, low and uh, a lot of uh, views of course you can uh, you can choose uh, just ideal variants for yourself as you know your uh, your goods and that is only my recommendation i showed it uh, just for example and you can choose um, those combinations uh, which can fit and match uh, your uh, goods and uh, in such a way you can check all your listings with the help of a tool key compare uh, i mean all your tags and um, uh, you can you can check whether they are narrow or wide uh, you can check uh, competition and view rate and with the help of an instrument keywords you can uh, find good combinations uh, competition rate and view rate and uh, add them to your text mm, uh, you can do the same with keywords uh, which you used in your title uh, it also can help uh, to optimize uh, your seo and in the conclusion i would like to say that i liked uh, this uh, mag uh, this shop and you uh, you did a great job uh, do not give up optimize your uh, seo and if you want you can uh, improve your photos also continue uh, using social media for promotion of your uh, items in uh, social networks as uh, it can also help to attract more traffic in your shop one more time uh, thank you amina for participation in our shop critique in our review and uh, my recommendation uh, is to attract uh, more traffic of uh, as it helps um, for more people to uh to see your uh shop and assess your goods as they are really good and uh, worth uh, attention i recommend you uh to work with this seo and uh, uh, include uh narrow and uh, more trendy uh, words in your titles text to increase your traffic uh, thank you very much for watching this video, uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the like button. See you!